the old way I used to do it. Ponytail redirected. I want to go over there now. So the old way consisted of me trying to take this out, holding on to this thing real tight or whatever I had to do, whatever kind of weird foot <laughs> to take yeah. this little prussic off. And if you're redirecting high and far, you could have this big dip of slack we're talking about here. And now you're doing this sort of weird thing where you're trying to, like, trying to let this slack out and, and go into the system semi-gracefully without taking a crazy swing and getting a shock or whatever. And it usually ends up going like, Whoa! <laughs> here. <laughs> Don't notice all that. And you tighten up. And you're like, all right, cool. I made it. So I ran into it a couple times where it was just, it just wasn't possible. And I was, uh... I had to leave my prussic up there, and then that was a big pain in the butt to try and, when I'm pulling the rope, to try and get out. Hoping it didn't get stuck in the thing or stuff like that. So, I showed this to some guys, to a, a couple climbers from Hartwood in uh, Carolina, and the one dude was like, you need to make something that's retrievable. Is it Jeff Perry? Uh, it's no, it's, it's Jeff on... Perry's friend. Uh, Kevin something. Kevin Actually. Humphreys. Was it Humphreys? Kind yeah, of got a southern Humphreys. accent. Yes, he's a good guy. Kevin yeah. Humphreys is a good guy. He's a really good climber, too. We had a great time on that. So, here's what I kind of came up with after talking to him a little bit. I was like, alright, so I throw in my rope. I got it over here now. I make sure, this is just a personal preference, you don't have to do it, that it's my splice den that's uh, my tail on the ground. if it holds very good. Got that now. Take this place then. Plant through here. Uh, just to have stuff already on my saddle to do it. Take my figure eight. You can do this with a like a hitch. You can do it with a Blake a Blake's hitch. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this you can is, bring a whole other system up. Yeah, you, right. can, you can do that too. Uh, this is just like the simplest way I thought to do it. Take you know a standard nice little soft, soft lock, lock yeah. or whatever. Maybe even tie a little half hitch if you're, if you're worried. But you're about putting it. your life on here, though. Right? Yeah. So you want that to be secure. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. whichever way you feel comfortable with it. Usually you got your lanyard on anyway. Yeah. Um, but. Now th this is, I wouldn't recommend this to anybody, this is my shortcut. No, I'm sure you guys are at a level where you don't fucking... No, no, I think, think that's an excellent, excellent tool. It's... That's legit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, soft lock is totally legit. So I stand this thing, make my little loop so I know I can get it back. Boom! Comes back to me. Break it out. Send it out. I got my system back. Here's where this whole thing is going to make more sense. So I'm in it. I'm good and tight. Now, put my little soft lock on. Uh -huh, that's tight. Wow. Or with your knot or whatever you got. Even a, even a fucking blade stitch will work. So boom, now I'm in my system. The it's it's nice and tight now because I've been able to let out the slack. And then secret weapon time. Take that little retrieval ball. 
And you really gotta watch for, if you're in a really brushy tree or whatever, that that thing doesn't whip around like a, a stick or something and you can't get it back. Yeah. Woo! Like that. Like that. Like, like that. that. <laughs> and you break it, suck it. But whatever, boom, I got it. And I just made a crazy transfer that I couldn't have made it before. And you can do it mid-air. Mid-air. Situationally. Totally mid-air. Freaking sweet.